orange uh, hat. Yeah, 4th of July hat. It's a hat with stars and stripes. We hope you're going to follow along with us. We're going to use a marker, but we're also going to use a pencil. You need some paper and... Something to color with. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. Let's first start down here at the bottom of our paper, and we're going to draw a curve. It looks like a smile. This is for the bottom of our hat. We're going to start maybe right about here. You could draw a curve right here in the middle. Maybe a little higher, too. Yeah. Looks like a smile. Now let's draw the side of our hat. We're going to draw a line that comes up and then curve out at the top. Up and then out. And then let's repeat the same curve except going the other direction for the other side. Yeah. Now let's draw another curve up here to connect these two lines that matches the bottom curve, this one right here. So let's draw a curve, it comes down, and then back up. Good job. Now we're gonna make our hat look 3D by drawing the, finishing the top and drawing another curve that comes around and it makes it look round and three-dimensional. Good job, and then curve back down and connect. Look at that, it looks like a cylinder or round shape. Now let's draw the bottom or the brim of our hat. You know, this is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw a curve that comes out like this and we're gonna match, look at that, how it matches the bottom of our hat and then connect back in on the other side. Whoa, now it looks like a cake. Maybe we're drawing a 4th of July cake. <laughs> like it's on a plate. I guess you could. You could draw sparklers coming out of the top. That would be awesome. <laughs> or the hat has sparklers on the top. Oh yeah, it could be a hat with sparklers. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to draw a stripe or the blue part down here around the bottom of our hat. So we're going to draw another curve that matches the bottom right here. Now that's for the stars. Now we're going to draw the stripes going up and down. Let's first draw, let's draw a stripe right here in the middle of our hat. I'm going to draw two lines coming down the middle. With our eyes, we're going to measure the distance right here, and we're going to add another line the same distance away from these two lines. So measure this with your eye and then guess you did it. Look at that. That looks like the exact same distance. Looks like you used a ruler. <laughs> now I'm going to draw another line. We can use that same distance. I'm going to draw another one right down the middle of that shape. Yeah. Let's do the same thing over here. We'll measure with our eye. We're going to move it over and then we'll draw another line on the left side. Yeah. And then let's do maybe just one more. I only have room for one more, but if you guys at home have more space on your drawings, you could add more stripes if you need to. Now we're going to switch to our pencils. We're going to put our markers down and we're going to draw our stars first with our pencil. That way we can erase the guidelines at the end. Let's draw a star right in the middle of the blue little stripe down here at the bottom. Let's first draw an upside down V right in the middle. I'm going to press hard with my pencil so that our art friends can see the pencil lines, but you guys at home can press lightly. That way when you erase the pencil, it disappears completely. Next on the left side, let's start down here at the bottom and we're going to draw a line that goes across. Yeah. And then we can draw a line on the right side that goes over to the left. Then let's connect those two lines at the top. Go across. Was that pretty easy? Yeah. Okay, let's do that two more times. One on each side so that we have three stars. Now you guys, if you have extra room for more stars, you could add even more than just three. Let's fast forward this part. Now you guys can pause the video and take time to draw your stars also. So you're erasing your stars because they, you drew them a little small. Yeah. That's what's nice about using a pencil. So now you can draw the star again, but draw it bigger. Good job. That's way bigger. I like it. Okay, do one more over here. 
All right, now let's switch back to our marker. And we're going to go around the outside of our star. So watch me first. I'm going to go up, down, and we'll go around each of the little points on our star like this. But we're going to make sure that we don't go over the pencil lines on the inside of the star. Now we can switch back to our pencil or our, the eraser and we're going to erase the guidelines inside of our star. Look at that. That looks really cool. Let's fast forward one more time and do the same thing for the other two stars. What should we do next? Color it. Yeah, this part we're going to fast forward again, but you guys can pause the video one last time to color your drawings also. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We did it, we finished coloring our hats and they turned out awesome. Did you have fun? Yeah. What do we use to color our drawings? Markers. Yeah, I also used a white colored pencil for a highlight, but you guys could use whatever you have at home. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing your 4th of July hat. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and you could also draw a face underneath your hat. Oh, yeah. Maybe even off the paper. And sparklers. Yeah, and sparklers, that would be awesome. <laughs> We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye! Hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also, be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.